do what i do so fellas listen there's a specific reason that she wants you there's a specific reason she really wants you and the truth is it's not for your love it's not because you know you're a good man and you know nice guys nice guys finish last so you don't want to be that but today i'm really going to tell you basically the potential or some of the reasons that you would just want you for this you know this is really reality and i'm gonna give it to you guys raw as i try to as always and we gotta be honest some of you guys don't want to hear this but i i'm trying to help okay so give this video a big thumbs up and y'all after this video we can talk we can talk about the problems you know maybe you don't believe me after i say some of this stuff but you could go ahead and ask me some questions during a consultation go ahead and book we can discuss anything that you guys would like starts at 15 minutes we can do a quick chat or even longer i have hours available whatever you guys would like and make sure you check out the bundle deals that link is down below make sure you click it after the video and once again give this video a big thumbs up all right so fellas i really want to get to the talking the actual discussion because we got a lot to talk about all right we're going to be talking about the actual whole phase that women be going through who they're trying to get back at if she's really trying to get back at somebody and so this starts this this discussion by she only wants you to get back at somebody. So I'm not going to talk so much about somebody right now because I got more to say about somebody, whoever that guy is. I have more to actually tell you that's interesting. I will, I will just tell you this, that somebody is typically the first love, the ex, that one specific ex-boyfriend that just has a hold on her. And, you know, no matter what, she'll never truly heal. And so the healing is what we really got to get into the talking. And so what's happening is that she's trying to get back at that ex, right? But backtrack. When we talk about she is calling it healing, this is strictly only woman. So now let's talk about healing, debating it or versing it. Versing is not even a word. Versus or against ho A's. I won't say the whole thing, you know, YouTuber, whatever. I'll say H, H phase, okay? That makes sense. Um, Or let's say just phase, okay? <laughs> that makes more sense, okay? Or it helps for me, okay? So phase. And then we have her thinking it's really healing. So what women, a lot of times, there's two routes. It's going to be one guy that she's going to run back to and she's going to think that she's really healing. She's going to make the excuse and say, oh, well, I, I think I'm going to actually fall in love with them or there's potential, but truly she's just healing or trying to heal, thinking it's healing and it's really she wants that other guy or she might be bitter or she's still hurting where she needs to be using a guy or have a rebound type of thing. So that's the one guy. Now there's the truly, truly the huh, and I remember I can't say that word too much, at least I think so. So phase, the next phase that she's going to be going through or what she's going to say she's going to be going through is this healing, but truly it's a phase. It's a, let me just say it maybe one more time, the whole phase, right? So if we have that compared to her thinking it's healing and now she's going through multiple guys, this is what's happening. She's going to go and deal with this guy thinking that this is going to make her feel better. And this is something I won't also talk about too much in this video. We have so much to cover. Please write down some of this stuff because I have it written down. But another thing I won't talk about is that when they go through this phase or they think they're healing, some women would like to go to your boy or your boy best friend. Sorry, I was about to say, yeah, sorry. Your boy best friend, your homie, your brother, your, 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 maybe it's your cousin too. But what it is, is the closest person to you. Now, I have a few videos coming out and I have some videos already. You know, watch those. I talk more about that close person to you, why she goes right back to him or why she comes back to him. And really, the main reason is that he's the closest one to you and she's thinking that she can hurt you by doing that, right? And now that's one way, not getting into details, but you see, understand that she has to go and run back or it's going to be connected to somebody. Now, where it gets so bad when I was saying with this phase, the multiple man, what is happening now is that she's dealing with Daniel, Brian, Lorraine, 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 is that a guy named Lorraine? We, we will keep Lorraine, whatever. And then we'll say, we'll do, we'll do Chris and we'll do Chad. And we got all of them, all five guys, right? So now, and this is how I like to kind of talk to you guys so it can help you guys, I hope, understand better. We got five, right? And y'all know five is roster rotation, whatever you want to call it, okay? So we got five and boom, 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 boom. What's it, what is it, ha what's happening here? Can you guys tell? She's running through all of them. <laughs> no, nah, but real talk, what's happening is, yes, it's 
experimenting it's going through him it's trying him now the whole and this is why it's such a phase the whole idea for her is that at the end she's gonna feel better at the end she's gonna get what she wants and truly what she wants is to either be loved by you to either maybe feel healed by you maybe you guys did something to her now i'm talking about the other guys that are slimes and doing crazy things out here right if if it's infidelity type of stuff however for her, she needs some sort of healing. There's some sort of void that's in her life, right? So she's broken. Now, we could talk about it could be bad, really bad, where it's really traumatizing things, right? She might even have PTSD type of stuff from it. But she just needs the healing. And the best resort for her is to run to guys and happens to be multiple. Now, that's where it gets bad, though, fellas, because that's a point where she's crying out. Oftentimes, she's crying out because she's thinking that, yes, her looks and you know whatever out here is saving her but deep down it's destroying her it's really destruction in the process because she's resorting resorting to just guys thinking that it's going to fulfill her and then it catches up to her and so this is and i won't talk too much about this part this is why we got to do our part twos but this is why women need time for themselves this is why you guys can't try to save her because genuinely you cannot save her she can only save herself you know and you know I'm not going to get into details right now, but let's just say it's not for you to do it at all, right? It's really not for her. You know, she needs to find God. Let me just say that, okay? So if it's going to take, you know, multiple guys for some woman, that's just going to happen to be the case for the, for her because she's just thinking it's going to end up working. And the sad, sad part is this is how you have to understand it. You guys become you know, a reason a woman looks good. This is why, you know, guys will be like, well, why do you dress or why do you cover or why do you do this or why do you want to, you know, a lot of times it could be for yourself, but ultimately like we're all human. If we don't look attractive to the, the sex that we want, the opposite sex, then what happens then? Boom. We're not going to be, you know, basically let's say getting her. We're not going to be basically getting, you won't be getting her. She won't be getting that person. So what happens? Now you have other voids or now you want other fulfillments. So you see where I'm going with that? I'm truly trying to get you guys to get that. It happens where she's she's she has to understand her own body inside. That's really down to what it is. And a lot of times women, and sorry if I'm getting off topic a little bit, but I'll get back to the whole, you know, rotation and healing and whatever. But um, a lot of times that's why women have to genuinely be by themselves and they learn the hard way. But what they're doing is, and this is how you're supposed to think about it, right? This is what I was saying is that you guys become an addiction. So there's a purpose to look good. There's a purpose to want to um, go out and get noticed. There's a purpose that validation feels nice, right? But there's also what it should be where she should be okay with just one person validating her. She should be satisfied or not want or seek other men to validate her. But her ego, obviously, we got to talk about ego and pride, how it goes. It's not going to fulfill her. It's not enough satisfaction. For her, her ego can never be too swollen. So if we backtrack to her, now with these guys, her fulfillment is never going to happen. So when we talk about you guys becoming an addiction, you guys become somewhat some sort of a purpose. And we talk about the guys that she's interested in. We're not talking about, you know, no simps, right? She she does not look at you simps and be like, okay, okay well... You know, I want, I want this from you and I only want this from, well, yeah, she's only going to want money and that, but it's never going to be, you know, let, let's take it to this next level. Or you know what? I look at you as the, the, the man, you know, the one that wears the pants in the relationship. So let's talk once again about how you guys become that addiction. It becomes where, okay, I go and I feel better. She feels better because you know what? In this moment, I know he's going to be upset if he finds this out. I know when he finds this out, it's going to crush him. It's going to hurt him. Sometimes it's also for this woman, okay, you know what? This makes me feel better. I know I can get his friend. I can get this other guy. I can get whoever I want. So it's a lot of times it's insecurities. Yes, it's that's why I say it's screaming out. Y'all got to see it for what it is. It's insecurities or it's broken and screaming out plenty of other things. And it's really just damaging her, but it's really her trying to feel better to fulfill herself once more. So give this video a big thumbs up, fellas. But if you're not following what I'm saying, and now we can talk about that phase, right? If you're not following what I'm saying, is she wants whatever selfishness is gonna fulfill her needs and wants, right? She wants whatever is at the end of the day is gonna make her feel or view things differently as in like, okay, well, 
I actually have more control than I think. She wants things to be turned around. She needs things to also be basically sorted where, okay, well, I made sure I got my revenge or I made sure that, okay, I can mess around or I could do whatever I want and you're going to always be there. So it's just kind of like, it doesn't matter what way you guys end the relationship or how bad it is obviously most times it's very toxic it's very bad it's very damaging it's very you know where she needs once again the healing from but it really does not matter if it's like small or bad it just depends on her you know if it really hurts her in that way yes if you are her first love yes if she's been around plenty of guys and knows how it goes you might be not her first love but you might be the guy that was the richest one that she came across and ended up maybe letting her guard down or being vulnerable too and once again it backfired maybe you might be that guy but you ended up not wanting her really because you see her for what she is and unfortunately she might just be completely broken or she might just really have a bad addiction addiction to something else it really is just down to her but then seeing what she needs what is it that it and this is back inside what she needs to fulfill fulfill her genuinely and so we can wrap up basically we're getting towards the end of the video but we can basically wrap up to say if you guys would stop trying to save the uh, you know how it goes if you guys would stop trying to save her and allow her to go through her phase she's going to have to go through the same things that she would have went through with you, with other guys. So that's just bottom line. If you want to be the one to, like, go through this, let's call it suffering or journey with her, like, you know, if you want to be going through the burdens and baggage and all that stuff, do that for yourself. But <laughs> this is why you guys have her. That's why you guys are simps, and that's why you guys are soft guys, and that's why you guys don't value yourselves or have enough morals and respect and stuff like that. And, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying if, you know, she's not perfect or she doesn't have it going on, you can't be there for her. But what do you guys see that <laughs> these women are there for you guys when you guys are weak and down bad? It's worse when, you know, she even knew you from the beginning and later on when you're down bad, she's gone, right? So let alone, let's, let's not talk about how, you know, if you're down bad already, you won't even get no recognition. Now, let's just, you know, before I get a little, like, uh, talking too much, let me say this, though, because once again, we're getting to wrapping up. She's going through something that you cannot help her with because it's inside, okay? When it's eternally, like, it's inside of her, you you can't try, and this is what a lot of you guys are really trying to do. Take your hands, and yeah, you're not grabbing or you're not solving nothing through reaching it. So stop trying to do that. You have to view it as in she's trying to actually come to you and have you, and that's literally what it is. Come inside of her or whatever, right? Get involved, whatever it is, and what happens then? She has you doing that, my friend. She has you, my brother. She has you doing that, but it's just hurting harming her that's where you guys gotta draw the line and stop getting involved when now you have her you know obsessed or you know you guys got soul ties going on and now boom she just can't get over you now she's just always wanting to run back to you and this is another thing i didn't really talk about but <laughs> the power of your peace <laughs> now i'm gonna just leave that at that but i'm just saying that's another thing that she could really just come back for but it falls and it could it really does now we talk about what kind of woman you're dealing with, but it falls what it could be. Sorry, I'm beating around the bush. What it could be that she wants at the end. So like with all the examples I've, I've named with the exes, with just wanting revenge, with just really needing healing and going through a really bad phase, whether it's one guy or multiple guys, right? And the one guy, remember, she's running back and forth from you and him, or she's thinking that you're at the other side while she's doing her thing over here, right? So just consider everything I said, even with her running to your friend all those are factors to what she actually wants from you to compare to what you think she actually wants from you so all my simps all my fellas out here that um genuinely think tiffany and nicole and brenda and brandy you think she really wants this love she really wants this future she really views you as the husband the real guy that's gonna be you know the husband in the future or the one that's gonna be forever forever for her as much as you guys think that this is gonna happen with her or you guys think that there's a lot of potential you're still trying to save a woman that's going through the fades so basically the potential is like this look at it that way and if you even have a percentage uh not a zero percentage it's not high 
and when it goes high it goes back down okay and it really goes high so if you get what i'm saying it's really down to stop trying let her go through what she got to go through she's going to go through it regardless if you want to be the one you'll be the one but maybe better yet if you guys can't handle not being out of her life just do your thing and wait until later on when she does come back around and hopefully she's already went through a lot of the actual healing inside okay so i really hope this video was helpful per usual i will talk more about this specific topic about like healing and then the phases and stuff just because i feel like there's so much to break down and y'all still don't get that this might all look good out here for a lot of women but inside <laughs> very much scary <laughs> so for sure i will talk more about it let me know for the part twos of course give this video a big thumbs up and then like i said if you guys want to discuss talk have questions you know just want some more advice go ahead and book your consultation that link is down below and don't forget also y'all don't forget that i do have merch so if you want to go ahead and get get you a high value t-shirt and there's other other things on the site soon go ahead and do that link is down below bye guys